Hi, my name is Matt Davis. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the restoration of fitting of original fireplace. To start with, we have to take the, all the original backfill out of the fire, um, the concrete that's been poured down the back, and then we have to make sure that the lintel is still secure, um, that it's not loose. These, this is a keystone lintel. Okay. Um, what you find sometimes over the years when there's been a fire, the mortar in between the bricks dries and falls out. Okay. So we have to support those back up. Has that happened here? Will it hasn't, no. This lintel was, is fine. But what we would do is we'd put a new concrete lintel in under that and just make that secure. Would you take this all out or would it just be built on top of it if you did have to replace it? Going underneath it. Underneath. We'd, we'd put a new lintel directly underneath. Okay. What is the actual fireplace like that you're going to put back in here? It's an original Georgian Randall fireplace. Um, what kind of restoration work have you had to, had to do to it? Um, when the fire came out, it, it came out in pieces and there was quite a few breaks on it as well. So we've had to basically rebuild the fireplace to put it back in situ. We re-backfill it with loose rubble and sand and cement. And what that does, it gives you a better draw on the fire because there's not a void behind the fireplace and it's just a lot easier for when they come to sweep the fire. So uh, that's the fireplace and what actually happens down here, down on the path? Well, with this, what happens here? This is a sub half that we've got okay. and what we're going to do is we take a template of this and we're going to fix a piece of slate back down on top of it. Is there a special size slate piece you're going to have to fit on? Yes, by law, um, the slate has to be coming out from the centre of the fireplace. Uh, it has to be 15 inches out okay. to the front and 15 inches out to the, to the sides. Okay. And what we're going to do is just cover up this so you can't see any of the concrete. Okay, are you going to take it any higher or is it going to be it's flush? It's going to be 20 mil above the floor. It's the original fire from the property. The stains on the front, they can all be cleaned off. They're coming off with a poultice. So what's the process from when you get one of these inserts in to making it look like it does now? First of all, we'll put it in the caustic tank to get all the paint off. Okay. Uh, then it might need a bit of welding. This one's had a little bit of welding on the corner. Okay. And then you start cleaning it with a wire brush. Um, you get most of the rust off with the wire brush. Then you yep. can give it a coat of Zebrite, which is the black grate polish. Okay. Let it dry, then go over it with a wire brush. And the tiles uh, is just wire wool and white spirit. Okay. Is that something that someone could do? Would you have to take it out to be able to do that, or could you do it in your own house? Um, depends what standard you want. To get to a standard like this, as you yeah. see here, you need to take it out. Put it on there first. And go over it with wire wool. It gets all the, all the paint off. And then just go over it for cloth and more white spirit. How are these tiles fixed onto this insert? Um, the tiles are put in through the rack at the back and then they get plastered in and you've just got to reline them from the front very quickly before the plaster goes off. They get welded on the back of the tile racks and then a lot of them break off. It would get bolted through the... See where the four bolt holes are there? Yeah. There, there and there. Okay. Uh, you unscrew them and the tile rack comes off like that. Okay. Uh, a lot of time they break and we just weld the metal to the metal again. We can still pop the tiles in the top. But this needs a back, a complete fire back. That can either come in fire brick material or cast iron. This also needs uh, the bars or fret. Uh, we have a range of them there, all different sizes. So it's just basically matching up which one fits with which one. Yes, fireplace. yeah. Do they change a lot from um, Victorian, Georgian? Yeah, yeah, good question. The, yeah, the bars change. They're more of a, a square shape for these tiled inserts. For a uh, Victorian arched insert, they're more curved bars. This is a typical tiled insert fret or set of bars. Um, these are a typical Victorian arch set of bars. Uh, a lot of the reproduction bars don't come with hooks because this one would have originally had hooks so you could take the bars on, be easy to clean the coals and stuff but this one hasn't got any um, so we just weld these on. This was the original insert out of there that we've restored. Um, what we've done, we've 
put it in a caustic tank, we've stripped all the paint off it okay. and we've restored it and we've extended it Is as well. This, you've extended it. What's That's the an reason extension. for having to extend it that far? Um, this was actually falling out of, the, out of the opening of the existing fireplace. So what we did, we've done, we've welded an extension on here, so it now sits behind the fireplace to stop it from falling out the wall. We've replaced the flap because the flap was broken. Um, so we've repaired that and we've put an actual old one on there that we've found out of, out of the shed. Are you going to keep it um, well, matte rather than polishing it up? No, what happens now is when, when the fire gets refitted, um, we polish it again with great polish. Okay. And once the polish dries, then we can buff it up with a mop. What type of um, insert is this? This is a Georgian Hobgrate insert. Okay. Um, it had several layers of paint on it, and we've just stripped it back and wire brushed it. How did you strip it back just using wire brushing? No, we first we put it in the caustic tank and, and took all the old paint off and then we wire brushed it to get the rust off. Okay. This one, uh, they want it to look as original as possible. Okay. Um, so we're just using the, the exact same methods as what they did when it went in originally. Okay. So originally it wouldn't have been highly polished? It wouldn't polished. have been highly polished. What you find, if you highly polish them and you use them as a working fire, the polish gets tarnished with the flame. Okay. Um, whereas this way it's a lot easier to maintain. If it ever starts losing its colour then you can just repolish it with um, fire grate polish. What you have to do to convert this to gas is you have to take the original grill out. We take a template of the grill, we send that off and it comes back as a fully formed kit. Okay. And then all that leaves is a corgi registered plumber to come in and connect it up to the gas. The first stage of laying the fire, what does it involve? Okay, now what we're about to do, this is a mixture a uh, plaster of Paris and one coat plaster. Now, the plaster of Paris is what they used to put them in with. And the reason why we use it is because it goes off so quick. So that means we can lay the half for 10 minutes and then we can put the fire on top of the half. When we're laying the half, we have to make sure that it's exactly level because everything sits on the half. The surround and the insert. It's mainly slate, because what you find is with slate halves, if you scratch them, you can just rub the rub the scratch out with, with some sandpaper and some wire wool. Whereas if you used to have a polished surface, <laughs> i.e. granite or limestone, then it has to be repolished. What we're doing, we're, we're just putting the surround up temporarily to mark out where it goes, so we can draw a line where we're going to stick it to the wall. We have to make sure that all these legs are perfectly upright and level for when the shelf goes on. These bullseyes we've had made because they were missing. They've, they've fell off over the years and they've been thrown away. So we've had these made. Those go on there. And what we're going to do, because this is new marble, we're going to stain these down slightly. Um, just so we actually teabag them just so it, it blends in a bit more with that colour. Yeah. Um, but that was the nearest match we could get for the marble. Because this is Carrara marble. Did you use the same design as the old one that you had? We copied. We had a, a picture of this room about 40 years ago and they were still on. So all we've done is we've just took a best copy as we can.